Hi there, this is Matt with State of Flex here with a review for Constantine. This is the next movie in my journey through the DC Cinematic Library. And if you have movies that can be elevated by the star power in front of the camera with pitch perfect casting, such as Wesley Snipes as Blade, such as Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool, such as uh, Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man or, uh, hell, Christopher Reeves as Superman. The opposite is also true, and Keanu Reeves' turn as Constantine is possibly the worst thing to that point in the DC Universe. The movie's not the worst, but he sinks this otherwise completely palatable, if not interesting, film. So much so that he made it unwatchable. I had to spend five different nights watching this film in 20 to 25 minute increments to get through the fucker. It is that unwatchable. And it's purely his performance. The best thing I can say about Keanu Reeves' performance in Constantine is that he didn't subject us to the British accent he had during Bram Stoker's Dracula. That would have been the final nail in that coffin. Uh, making this literally the worst movie in the DC lineup. As is, it is completely unremarkable because of him. John Constantine is an interesting character. The Hellblazer comics are really good. Neil Gaiman did a great job with them. Uh, he's a character that I believe was originally created by uh, Alan Moore, but fleshed out with Neil Gaiman's uh, help and assistance through those Hellblazer comics. And he's fascinating. And what's frustrating is this film had so much potential. You have surrounding Keanu Reeves tremendous actors, Rachel Wise, who in the same year of this film's re release would have gotten an Oscar nomination for The Constant Gardener. Uh, and she's great in the movie in a dual role. You have Tilda Swinton, you have Jimon Hanzu, like you, ha you have so much good talent. And you have compelling lore. That was cool, too. The lore that this film perpetuates within the dynamic of the film is all really interesting. And you have fantastic visual effects that, by and large, hold up better than some of the things in, like, Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, a movie I much like better than this one, but uh, the digital effects in that movie haven't been, like, great, great, um, or have an aged great, great, uh, or like Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, those movies were kind of huge film releases in 2005. In the same year, you have this one, which has a really good visual flair to it, and the visual effects hold up, by and large, pretty well. Um, so, yeah, there's, like, all these things going for it. But it's really sunk by the performance of Keanu Reeves, who's so just tremendously miscast. This is a misfire. Because as written, his character's fine. And Keanu Reeves has made good movies. I like him in Speed. I like him in, as, uh, in Bill and Ted and stuff like that. And he's great in the movie The Gift, Sam Raimi's film. But he works best, honestly, when he's in those John Wick films because he has gravitas without being able to articulate. And it's whenever he is forced to speak a lot or have a lot to say that his acting flounders. And John Constantine is a character that is kind of like a motor mouth. He talks a lot and he's very quippy and he's very uh, smart and, and like really on the edge of uh, pushing the envelope with what he's going to say next very sarcastically. And Keanu Reeves just does not capitalize on this character. This character would have been better suited to somebody like Misha Collins in Supernatural, performed this character exceptionally well. Essentially, that character was uh, of Castiel was inspired by John Constantine, which is why he has the whole outfit. Um, but if you wanted to go back to 2005 and cast the movie with uh, an appropriate actor, and even make him British, go with David Tennant. 
he seems like an, a good and obvious choice. He has the uh, dramatic flair. He could kind of do the hard-boiled detective thing. He can hit the comedic beats like none other. He can be quippy. He can be uh, stern. I think that's your uh, Constantine in 2005. What they were thinking, I have no idea. Keanu Reeves destroys this otherwise fine movie. Uh, I give this one one star. The one thing that I have to wonder is why there is reverence for this film enough to get a green lit, uh, lit sequel in Constantine 2 and the fact that it's still in development within James Gunn's uh, DC universe is, is flabbergasting to me, honestly. Um, if you like this movie, tell me why in the comments below because I'm sure you're going to tell me you like the lore, you like the look of the film, you like, because the lighting is really good, you like the special effects, you like Rachel Wise, you like Tilda Swinton. You might even like Shia LaBeouf. This was Shia LaBeouf pre-Transformers. Uh, this is when I still knew him as the Holes Kid. Uh, and he grew up to be known as uh, the A-hole kid, B-hole, C-hole, whatever hole you want to make him be that he fits it. Um, but uh, I digress. Constantine, one star. Let me know what you think of the film in the comments down below. Uh, gently massage that like and subscribe button. Peace.